Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Walking Dead video. So I wanted to break down the, the latest teaser trailer here for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon Season 2, Episode 2. Tomorrow, obviously, Episode 2 is airing, and so I will have my reviews, my trailer breakdown for Episode 3, and all that out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I'm really excited for Episode 2 because it looks like they're really going to focus on a lot of issues of, of what's happening at the nest. And based off of this teaser trailer, we learned that Laurent goes missing, and so I'm really interested in terms of why he's gone missing and exactly what Daryl and Isabelle are going to learn about the nest. And so, yeah. Yeah, before going any further, make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking content like this. Again, like I said, tomorrow I will be doing my episode 2 breakdown video, also my uh, episode 3 trailer breakdown, and I'll talk about some other stuff that happens in episode 2 as well, because I always like doing videos breaking down like specific scenes from the episode, because an episode breakdown, I mean, you're really talking about the episode just overall, but to focus on like one moment specifically, I like to just like focus on like moments like that a little bit more in depth, if obviously a moment like that does happen, because sometimes you watch an episode and nothing really happens, so yeah, stay tuned for that all that will be coming out tomorrow and so yeah let's break down this uh episode 2 trailer here or teaser trailer i guess and it's a very short teaser trailer it's about 15 seconds long but it does really tell you what the story is going to be here for the episode and i will say it's kind of funny to see certain teaser trailers now i mean not, not all of them are like that obviously the general trailer for each episode doesn't have like like the font and whatnot on the screen but that is something that definitely happens a lot more and more lately in terms of promotion and whatnot for tv shows is that whatever the characters are saying you do just have on the screen as like text and it seems to be a very popular thing now and so it's just yeah it's just kind of interesting because the walking dead is starting to do that now again not in their general trailers and stuff for each episode but just for like the teaser trailers and all that like you'll have the text on the screen and what we learn here actually is that somebody took laurent and so daryl and isabelle are very concerned about that because laurent is now missing it seems like that's how the episode's going to start to be honest like i know that based off a lot of the the promo shots that we got for this episode already that laurent is by himself quite a bit and then later on shows up up with Lo Sang, so I'm assuming what's going to happen is, I guess, Lo Sang takes Laurent, right? Like, that makes the most sense, is that Lo Sang is going to take Laurent somewhere, and then obviously, we're going to see a lot of those uh, conversations take place, see a lot more of, you know, what Lo Sang is planning and all of that, and then I think, you know, I guess towards, like, the halfway point of the episode, around that point to later on, we're probably going to get the ceremony for Laurent, and then we'll learn exactly what the ceremony is, Then I think that's where Daryl and Isabel will probably see Laurent for the first time, just because a lot of the shots of the ceremony you see Laurent just with uh, Lo Sang. So I'm assuming that when this happens, Daryl and Isabel aren't here yet. I'm still sort of confused on, on, on like the very end here because like, I know there's going to be some sort of battle scene. It seems like there's something that happens here during this ceremony. And I'm assuming that Madame Genet and Provoir show up, right? Because I think it makes sense because you're going to have to have Daryl and Isabel captured at some point here. Going into episode three, I could see them maybe getting captured at the end of episode two or maybe in three. Like it's going to happen at some point, maybe at the very end of three around there anyway ways just based off of the trailer and all that right and so i'm assuming that it's gonna happen like right away and how the nest ties into everything here i'm re really curious about because yeah again laurent goes missing here uh isabel seems very very concerned she's wondering where he is and then you see daryl here and daryl says someone took him and so he's already like right away like okay something happened here and i don't know what's in the back here i don't know if this is a lock for like the window it just looks like one of those like grappling hooks where like you would throw it onto the window and then like what daryl would climb up a rope or whatever to like get in the window i don't know if that's what just happened here but again maybe this is just some sort of lock that you turn and so you can sort of lock each window here i i don't know but it just looks like a grappling hook like daryl sort of threw that onto the window and then climbed up i guess from his room and uh yeah i don't know if that's what's happening here i mean maybe they're keeping laurent from everybody yeah just kind of hilarious to see that but we do see a plane here so obviously uh carol and ash are on their way to france and so they're, they're gonna be making a stop somewhere and wherever that is i, I mean i doubt it's going to make a lot of sense really overall. I do think that's really just a part of the story of Carol getting to France because as convenient as it was for Carol to see the plane, you know, just when she did, I still think you need to make it realistic in terms of her getting there because for Daryl getting to France, I mean, that made sense, right? Like, I think that was really easily explainable and I think that's why I had no issues with it. Daryl was taken by uh, some scientists, I guess, that were using American walkers for some of these experiments and whatnot, obviously, to create the super walkers and so Daryl was on a ship. He was going to be made into a super walker, right? Like, he was being held captive on the ship and then eventually going to be used as one of the experiments but he leaves the ship and then eventually ends up in france which makes a lot of sense because where the explosion on the ship happened it was very close to france at that point i think it was closer to spain but it was sort of in that area the explanation made sense it all made sense and so for carol to get there 
Like, if you're going to have her, like, randomly find a plane, then, you know, I think the best thing to do is probably not have her arrive in France at the very end of the episode. So having her stop somewhere else and then having to get some more gas and whatnot, then eventually get to France, I guess, in the next episode. Or not the next episode, but at the end of the episode. Like, that's two episodes of six episodes. That's a third of the season where you're focusing on Carol getting to France, which I think is definitely very smart to do. Like, it should be something that is taking quite a bit. I just think that this episode, in terms of something that I'm hoping to see, is that we do see more of Daryl and some of the Ness storyline, because if you focused on her a lot in this episode, or mostly, I think that in terms of the excitement and interest overall, I think you're going to see that lower everybody's reviews overall this season, right? Like, I think that what you want to see from episode two is more of a focus on France, because you already focused a lot on Carol in episode one. You can still tell a story there with Carol, but you just have to get her to France, I think, in that episode this way. In episode three, you could sort of start off with Daryl and Isabel maybe captured with Madame Genet, and then maybe Carol is with Madame Genet, right? Because I do believe she's going to run into pouvoir at the very end of episode two at least based off of some of the promo that we got this week and then yeah that episode there you'll have carol with madame Janae and pouvoir daryl and isabel captured i think it makes sense as to how they're eventually going to reunite i mean i don't know how the scene's gonna play out overall i'm sort of picturing it happening outside but that's probably because i'm really going based off of uh episode uh, or season five's uh, reunion between daryl and carol right because that did happen outside so i'm sort of picturing it happening in a very similar way but we'll have to wait and see because if you look at this one shot of carol here like she's actually walking out of the vehicle here and you see soldiers around and this obviously has to be in france so i think at this point this is why she runs into pouvoir i really think that it's going to happen at the very end of the episode there's some stuff happening with isabel here as well you can tell that in this shot where she has this gun here she actually has her jacket on at this point here and i know that a lot of the the shots of her outside when the ceremony is happening she has her jacket so Daryl and Isabel are apparently going to find out something about the nest in this episode. This seems to be related just based off of the expression that she has here. I think that she's very concerned or very shocked about something. She just learned of something, right? So I think that's going to relate to why they go outside eventually. Maybe she learns that Pouvoir is there or that Losang is working with Pouvoir and that they're allowing Pouvoir to come to the nest. Like that's sort of what I'm assuming. It's either going to be something like that or it's going to be the nest is doing something else that we don't really know yet because I know the showrunner or people that worked on the show anyways they were talking a lot about the nest and pouvoir and both of them being on extreme sides of of sort of beliefs i guess in general so you have pouvoir that you know they believe in something that is very extreme but then you have the nest which is on the other side and it's also an extreme and daryl is sort of you know like he's not just going to follow one group he's very much like he thinks on his own and so i'm imagining that being something that plays out here in episode two is that daryl and isabel they learn something here about the nest that yeah it seems like isabel is very concerned here this one shot right here of daryl i mean i'm assuming that this is happening at the nest right so something is happening at the nest later on in the episode and i think that i mean this has to be related to that but i'm just really excited that we're finally seeing this shot though because this was one of the first things that we ever saw from the show when they first promoted season two the very first footage that we ever saw from season two after the ones who live finished airing was this shot here there was a couple of shots that we saw this was one of them but then yeah you see daryl and isabel here and so i'm assuming that this happens at some point in the episode here they're concerned about laurent did they find him at this point daryl says don't worry we'll get him so i'm assuming that probably not like they're gonna find him at some point here but this takes place at the nest and so you know a lot of the battles haven't happened yet so i'm guessing this happens probably what halfway through the episode or earlier on or something like that i'm not too sure but yeah then we have this one shot here of daryl and i guess this is somebody from pouvoir or maybe the nest i don't know but yeah i'm really excited about episode two uh, i thought that trailer was actually really good or teaser trailer i thought was really good i know that a lot of people want me to talk about uh you know the thing that happened with the walking dead over the last week but i'm kind of avoiding it because uh you know it's not really affecting me i'm watching every episode week to week and so uh yeah i'm excited about episode two tomorrow episode three the week after and then four the week after that comic-con is also in like less than two weeks now right so we are going to get uh a lot of fun stuff to talk about there right i'm hoping that there is some sort of announcement of anything rick and michonne and i will say i think anything Thing like that is what the walking dead needs right now i think that you know there's a lot of people that are really excited about the walking dead still but there is that element to it that i think the ones who live after the finale sort of did and that was it kind of ruined a lot of the hype overall for the walking dead because the walking dead just hasn't really been as exciting because yes you can see where the future is going to go but there's nothing announced or anything like that so it's sort of hard to get excited about this or that right like obviously rick and michonne will come back at some point in the future it seems like they're all really excited for that we will see rick and daryl eventually reunite like they're obviously going to do that but it's just 
when is that going to happen? Four or five years from now? Are they going to tell a story before that? Like, I just think that The Walking Dead needs a little bit more excitement right now overall. And maybe they never really saw that, you know, over the last year or so, because I think that maybe they thought that excitement would be there after The Ones Who Live. But I think that, again, it, it is still kind of there, but you do need to sort of announce something else or talk about something or tease something to, to happen. Right? Like, I think announcing that Rick and Michelle are returning at some point in the future or just saying, like, I don't even know what you would say, to be honest. If you're teasing something anyways, if Gimple's just like, well, you know, we've been talking, but that's all I can really say right now. Like saying something like that, I think would create a lot of hype overall for The Walking Dead. And then you could sort of see how certain things play out overall in terms of the story and whatnot. And I do wonder if there's anything from season two that will connect in some way to something that happens with the Commonwealth or like with Rick and Michonne, right? Because the Ones Who Lives finale happens, I would say like just before Daryl Dixon season two. I think Daryl Dixon season two happens a couple of months later. So it's around the same time, but a little bit later. So uh, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in that. But again, Comic-Con is in like two weeks from now. So I'm just really excited to see what Gimple's going to say overall about The Walking Dead. So yeah, I'm excited for that. So post all your thoughts down below. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.